Oh my god, it looks like a star. How cute. Okay, um, so you hear that, like, beeping noise? It's the alarm. It goes off every day at midnight. So it's not Christmas anymore, so I can talk shit all I want and be depressed all I want. And I won't feel guilty because it's Christmas. <laughs> um, it's just that I can't sleep very well. And so, and also, like, I literally missed four days of videos. So, like, spam. Well, not really spam, because it's a YouTube vlog to mm, complications with language and wording, and I don't know what to call this crap. My life? I don't know. Um, but, <laughs> basically, I just came up with two ideas to talk about. One of them, which I just literally just forgot. The memory of a freaking frog over here. God damn. That's an insult to frogs, actually. I have a memory of a gnat. No, 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 a fly. A fly lives, like, what, three days? Yeah. Um, I have a memory of a fly. Um, I eat shit all the time, too. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, it's not actual shit, but, like, literally, like, my life is shit, so technically I do eat shit every day. And I fall on my ass constantly, so yes, I do eat shit pretty much okay <laughs> enough um what's i gonna talk about oh um so i always talk about not being like a believer or a believer or a believer, you get it? Like, remember a long time ago? Well, not that long ago, actually. It was like, um... Oh, that's my feet. Like, don't freak out over, like, the thing and be like, Oh my god, paranormal! Like, no. Girl, it's just my feet. Um... <sighs> what was I gonna say? Um... <laughs> wow. I'm just not here today, am I? Um... Oh! I'm an atheist. Also, <laughs> let me clarify. Atheist, athe atheism is not, it depends on the person. It's just like any other belief, okay? It depends on the person. Personally, I think of atheism as something that's like, I don't believe in God, and I don't believe in any other spiritual, ghostly, or like weird ass thing. Anything biological, like aliens or freaking mermaids. I could believe in, but I don't believe in anything spiritual, like, otherworldly, like, angels, demons, hell, heaven, ghosts, all that shit. I don't believe in any of it. Um, I don't even really believe in an afterlife. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I think of atheism. But some people think of atheism as different for them because that's how they are. And a lot of people confuse atheism and Satanism as the same thing. Which, believe me, they're not, okay? Get your facts straight. Um, so yeah, I'm an atheist. And a lot of people get scared when I say this. Because immediately, because of all of society's like bad connotations with atheism and making it seem like Satanism, which it's not, um... Or, like, people just misunderstanding atheism in general. Um, like, they're afraid of us. <laughs> or, like, they just, like, um, immediately assume the worst and hate us. And, like, or something. And, like, that's why I'm kind of hesitant. Well, not hesitant. Well, yes, hesitant. But, like, it's not like I fear saying it. I'm just, like, a little cautious. And hesitant because, like, I know that, like, people will, like, immediately judge me for being an atheist. And, like, and the same things with any other religion that is commonly made me own. Like, I remember a long time ago when I, well, not that long ago, it was, like, maybe two or three years ago when I considered myself a struggling Christian. <laughs> oh, my God, those were the days I was in living hell. Um, <laughs> literally, um... But, um, I shouldn't say literally because that wasn't really how people have lived worse, worse lives, but still, pretty bad. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, 
when I considered myself a struggling Christian, every time I said Christian, people always assumed that I was like some naive little girl who was like a believer and like all this shit and it pissed me off so bad. And then every time I cussed or anything, I always felt like immediately guilty afterwards. Anytime I had any impure thoughts, I always felt immediately guilty and like all of this heavy stuff and like all of it just to like have faith and like it just became too much for me and like I was just like you know what whatever okay like this may be it for some people but it's not it for me like I respect and like admire the people who can like sit there and like speak to the air and like have faith that someone's listening and they're dependent on something like that's to me like I don't see it as actually being there but they do I think that's amazing. I think that's super cool that they can believe that and they're so dependent and they always have someone to rely on, relatively speaking. And I, I've i I've tried. I've tried for years. My mom is a Christian. Like, I was literally raised in church and I was like, she tried so hard and, like, I tried so hard and I just, I was literally raised drink, b- b- singing <laughs> praise the Lord and, like, grace of god or what's that one jesus take the wheel i was literally raised like singing those type of songs and i always felt like this elevation whenever i did it because like this relief of depending on someone else and always trusting them and like whatever but like there's also also the negative side of always like carrying like this baggage and this guilt of everything i did because i always felt like everything i did was a sin and like it just I just couldn't do it anymore and like so I eventually just like became an atheist because like I just I couldn't depend on something that I didn't know for sure was there anymore and like I couldn't carry the weight of the baggage that I had with it but that doesn't mean that I don't respect the people who are religious I respect them and I care for them and it doesn't stop me from liking anyone Like, it doesn't. And, um, I don't believe in, like, ghosts or, um, anything else paranormal because, like, that shit just scares me if I think too much about it. And then I go into the whole heaven or hell thing and then the afterlife and then I get afraid of death and everything and, like, it just freaks me out. So, like, I just, like, no. Let's just, like, believe it's not there and then, like, we're good. Because, like, I don't want to be afraid of death. Like, they don't live... My entire life fearing the end. Like, I just want to live my life and be happy. Like, if I die tomorrow, so what? I'll be happy. I lived, like, the best life I could live. Like, so the fucking what? Like, okay. I'm at a good place right now. Even though I have my bad days, I'm at a good place right now. I feel like I've lived through some hardships. And I know that I'll go through some future hardships. And I know that I'll keep growing and blah, blah, blah. And I sound corny as fuck. But, like... I just know that and whatever and if it ends tomorrow then it ends tomorrow and if it ends 80 years from now then it'll end 80 years from now like I don't really care anymore like it's just too much weight to care about every little thing that's gonna happen in my life (laughs) um so yeah basically that's why I'm an atheist and that was one of the topics that I wanted to talk about because I need to fill in the videos that I missed and also because I'm tired and like bored and I don't want to sleep and there's nothing else for me to do because I have no life so videos I guess um yeah I also had another video planned but I don't remember what it was I think it was about my mom but I'm not entirely sure which I probably should get into that but like I don't really want to But at the same time, I should. Because this is kind of therapeutic for me. And, like, um, these videos are kind of therapeutic for me because, like, um, I'm, I don't really like talking about my feelings that much. And, like, in front of people. I can do do it myself all the time, but in front of people, I get, like, scared. Like, I don't, I don't hate 
being judged. But, like, if I don't care about someone, I can easily bluff them off. But I, if I care about someone, like, really care about someone, like, it's so easy for them to hurt me. Like, literally, they can say one word and I'll start bawling my eyes out. Like, that's how sensitive I am with people I care about. And, like, it's really easy for me to get attached. And so I'm not very good with talking to people in general. So, like, this is kind of therapy for me because I can talk with myself. But I can also talk with people. And it's both terrifying and thrilling at the same time. And it's also a way for me to communicate with myself and with other people. And, yeah. So that's why these videos are so important to me and why I keep doing them. And will continue to keep doing them. And um, even if I somehow get known... Um, and people start hating me for the stupidest shit, I won't care. And, like, because this is what I want to do. This is how I'm helping myself to, uh, to face my fears and, um, God, why do I sound corny as shit in every single video? Oh my god. Like, but like, oh. sorry. I don't like it when it's blurry. Um, yeah. So, basically, this, this was just that video. And then. Maybe the next one I'll talk about my mom. So yeah. And then the whole world can know about my shitty family. It's awesome. My mom would piss the fuck off. She's like got so much anxiety. She would freak the fuck out if I she knew I was talking about her. And like these videos will probably never get normal. So it doesn't really matter that much. But like. Mm-hmm. But then like then again if people like. I knew from, like, school or something, found out about my mom, and, like, bullied me or some shit, then that would fucking suck. Because I only have a few friends at my school. <laughs> um, and a lot of them are people pleasers, so they would probably switch sides pretty fast if I was being targeted. So that sucks. Yeah, so... You can see why this is terrifying for me to talk about my mom. And pretty much anything else having to do with my life. But, like, these probably will never get long known. That's what I keep telling myself to, like, comfort myself from, like, freaking out and stopping this. Because this is actually helping me, so I need to keep doing it. And it's way better than talking to a fucking shrink. Because <laughs> I've done that before, and it fucking sucked, and I hated it, and I didn't. It's, hmm... <laughs> Let's just say it was like worse than freaking the way I used to live. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's this video. Bye.